A major test for Tucson streetcar, how it will run in an emergency situation. Before the streetcar can pick up passengers, it has to pass some rigorous tests. KGUN 9's Craig Smith is live downtown with a look at some of the crisis training that operators are now going through. Well, Guy, normally when a Tucson SWAT team is deployed, we don't really show you the action live on camera for fear that will convey information that might compromise their own safety. But because this is a drill, we can show them doing what they do. In this case, as part of the emergency training for the SunTran SunLink streetcar, they are planning for a variety of scenarios. In this case, this would be, say, a hostage scenario with someone taking over one of the streetcars. There you can see officers lining up and uh, there, uh, there they are approaching the streetcar. One of the things we learned earlier today is um, they have to, to actually know how to open the doors from the outside if perhaps the streetcar operator is unable to open the doors for them. This is also an issue for the fire department if the fire department had to make a call for an emergency on the streetcar. And earlier today, there was a drill with the fire department as well. There you can see the SWAT team moving in. Might, uh, that might need to be deflected at this point. This is a scenario that uh, we've seen them do two or three run throughs already. So, this is apparently something they are going to repeat in different variations over and over through, uh, through the next hour or so. This is something that is an important part of federal requirements for these streetcars to operate. The feds paid for most of the uh, streetcar system, and part of the requirements require all sorts of emergency scenarios where first responders get familiar with an unfamiliar piece of equipment and learn better how to respond. We'll show you a little more of this new at 6. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.